All right, that should be live now. It should be working. Should have the screen in front of you. Hopefully. Let's see. Get this working, right? And hopefully this is the only time I'll have issues. As long as I just keep on yeah, trying, you know. Change. Make so it's the same now. Okay, cool. So this is West of Loathing. I'm testing this stream out to make sure my computer will work with streaming. And I figured what better game to start with than West of Loathing. It's pretty funny. You're in the West and yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So I had the strangest dream. I was choosing a character class. So let's see what cow puncher is. Cow puncher, uh, cow puncher solve their problems with their fists, whether it's shaking them at a disagreeable feller and the distributable, uh, dis, uh, can't read, <laughs> disreputable saloon, or using them to punch a slightly more disreputable feller in a slightly less res reputable saloon. You've heard that cow punchers are in demand out west since the cows came home, which stands to reason. The cows aren't going to punch themselves, after all. Cool. And then, uh, Bean Slinger. Magic and cooking are in... Extra... I can't read. <laughs> Interwined in loathing. And the Bean Slinger is the mystical masher of both. You've heard that there's a shortage of cooks out west since the cows came home, due to most of the cooks having been brutally killed by the cows. Even more interesting. Okay. And snake oiler. Snake oilers rely on their moxie and chip. I can't. Wow. To tame snakes and their fearlessness to extract potent oils from those snakes and their cleverness to manufacture and sell potions made from those oils. You've heard snake oilers are doing really well out west since the cows came home. Everybody needs potions and hope in these dark days. And also out west is where all the best snakes live. So, I, I'm i not quite sure which one to go with, but I may as well go with, uh, I'm going to say Cow Puncher, because that one sounds cool. Alright, cool. So, WASD for controls. You're, you comb your hair one last time. Candy experience, that's nice. Hey Russell, how you doing? Caw. I'm. I don't. I, if I'm not sure if I should read these out loud or not, or I'll just read the my side of it. So I'm gonna miss you, buddy. And feed Russell a cricket. Yep. You grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand goodbye. Uh, sorry. Uh, goodbye, Russell. Be good. Cool. Let's see what's over here. Read the spine of one of your books. Jane Jones and the Curse of the Vulture Citadel. The Adventure of Cabot Gulch. The Secret of the Forbidden Church. Virginia Swift and the tr uh, Trouble at Cabot Barn. The o Occurrence of vamp at Vampire Mine. Jim Drew and the Cursed Cove. Oh, oh hey, look. Uh, this one might come in handy. You get an item. Walking Stupid. Let's see. Walking Stupid. Let's read it. You read the book from cover to cover and learn how to walk really stupidly. You get you got a perk. Stupid walking. Nice. You accidentally drop the book and ruin it by stepping on it 30 times while trying to pick it up. <laughs> that's nice. 30 times. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Okay, I think I'm going to keep this on for the rest of the game. Alright, let's continue on. What a mess. Stack firewood. Hey, more experience. The hearth really puts the hearth in hearth and home. Hearth and... You're going to miss mom's cooking. Yeah. Let's see what's in the kitchen. Or, wow, never mind. That is a bedroom. 
to pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Uber die Enzal de Prem. Wow, it's, it's. I think it's, it's. Yeah. How many different languages do you need to learn about numbers? You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Tractus Logic Philosophicus. Just a title. <laughs> Gives me a headache, yes. You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Grand Lagon. Um. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, look, you got a puzzle cube. That's cool. So let's see. Oh, okay, cool. So it is working, the stream. I want to make sure I can hear myself. The stream. I want to make sure I can hear myself. Oh, cool. Yes, it is working fine. I just want to make sure I can see comments, so give me a moment. Test. Comment. Cool. I can see comments. At least on my phone. Okay, so not fearing myself. Let's go with your father morse morsely dra uh, jabs at the haystack. Haystack. Ah. That hat doesn't fit you, Dad. Or time for me to leave, Dad. I'm going to say the hat. Uh, yes, he'll grow into it, I'm sure. It's time for me to leave. His lips, uh, his lip quivers a little. Listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandfather's brass knuckles. Or grandmother's gra brass knuckles. You get an item, brass knuckles. Thank you. Thanks, Dad. Good. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. Will do. Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, Mom. We're gonna miss you. Oh, I'm not gonna do that. That's just weird. Um, we're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yep. It's that book you wanted from Crimbo. Or for Crimbo. You know, it's early, but... I know it's early, but... Hmm. Do I want to get one about lockpicking... Desert survival or bartering? Which one will be more useful at first? Huh. I'm going to go with lockpicking. That one sounds cool. Oh, I missed something. Dang it. Oh, well. Let's see. Go ahead and read it. And now I have the lockpicking skills. After you're done reading it, you donate it to a local orphanage. Soon those orphans will be able to make their escape. Go orphans, go! Yes. Cool. And I guess I'll say goodbye to my brother. Brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Give him his puzzle back. You hand him the puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. And say goodbye. Hey Rufus, time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you are leaving. I kind of mixed that. <clears throat> anyway. He's got a point, you know. Why are you going to the west anyway? I'm going to seek my fortune. There's just no opportunity here, kid. If I'm going to make something of myself, i got to go where I can make some meat. But it's so dangerous. 60% of the people who go west get killed within a year. And that's the statistics before the cows came home. I'm not quite sure what it means by the cows came home, but I guess that will reveal itself later on. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I worry about me. Okay, if you say so, I think you'll be done. Uh, you'll be dead by Crimpo. I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. Give him a playful punch to the arm. Now leave. Oh, got a needle. Needle in a haystack. <laughs> That's funny. And don't mind me. I'm just going to walk away and crawl away. Yes. Uh, looks like this isn't your first rodeo. I did, I did play a little bit of this beforehand, um, but I want to play a pro prologue again, just to see what this game was like, make sure it's good, but I kind of figured it would be. Let's see. West of Loathing. So, guys, so are he, if... 
if you're new here, just go ahead and hit that like button. And if you like this content, go ahead and subscribe. I'm not going to constantly say that, so this is probably the only time I'm going to say it during the stream. Yeah. A lot of turnips. Let's see, I can go ahead and skip this. But, let's see. Okay, and we're starting. Well, the bad news is you fell off the cart and got knocked out for a couple hours. And now you've got no no ride, no meat, and no prospects. The good news is that you're now you're in town rather than in a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town though. Let's get it up and dust ourselves off. Hey look. Ow. Some Oh uh, yeah. Oh, a turnip. A dusty turnip. Oh. The sign of the door says gone drinking. Okay. I wonder if that's going to be helpful. I didn't really get far into it. I kind of just walked around a bit, got past that beginning. So, I need a cactus. Approach the weird cactus man hybrid. He smiles at you. Howdy, cactus man. Howdy yourself. The name's Bill. Cactus Bill. What happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer and it turned me into a cactus. Doc Alice warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. And that's why they call you Cactus Bill? No, that's just a coincidence. Okay. Oh, does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, being a cactus? Oh, haha. <laughs> no, it's actually just kind of nice. The natural fermentation processes inside the cactus part of me. Pretty drunk uh, most of the time. I guess it's a mite boring. Yeah, I bet. I wouldn't be so, it would be so bad if I had something to read. You don't happen to have a newspaper or anything, do you? No, sorry. Well, if you happen to find one, keep me in mind. I will, Bill. All right, let's leave him. Okay. That's okay. Get lost. I see. Um, let's see what the sheriff has to say. Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Boring Springs. I'm the sheriff in these parts. The what? <sighs> he sighs. The sheriff, okay? Blessed sign painters. Say, wouldn't you happen to be looking for work, would you? Um, as a matter of fact, I am. Good, because I happen to have some. There's a gang of hoodlums around here who call themselves the Fricker, Fricker Gang? Yeah. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted him out and took my cell door with him. A wholesale door. Holy. Uh, it ain't, uh, well, it ain't, ain't much good without the door. That's true. And I need someone tough, smart, and or slick to go fetch it back for me. I'm guessing those are the three different uh, traits for each class. Uh, why don't you do it yourself? You're the sheriff, after all. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Mm, nah. You know, I'm going to go with, I'll give it a shot. Oh, deputy pistol. Deputized a gun. Let's see. You're new in town. Maybe you ain't noticed. But there ain't much to do here except drink. Here, let me write down where the Fricker Gang's hangout is for you. Makes a little note on your map. I apparently have a map. Hey, what's this? A recovered mug. I don't know what that's about. Let's see what's going on in the bar. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting in the left door shrieks and waves you to get, his atta get your attention. Hey, where's your hat, Dagnabbit? Well, I... Y you can't drink here without a hat. It ain't proper. <laughs> he points to the take-it-hat-leave-a-hat box next to the door. I'll check the, bat the hat box, yeah. You look through the hat box and find a sturdy-looking Stetson. That looks like something you'd wear. I guess because I'm a cowpuncher. Grab it. Thanks, uh, 
Pete. Thanks, Pete. It gives you a friendly, if somewhat twitchy, nod. Say, feller. Yeah? You heading west? If and you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Well, uh, no pressure. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Um, let's see, what are they doing? Oh, I need money. Or meat. Uh, is there a difference? Okay. Ooh, piano. Should probably leave him alone. Yep, I probably should. The woman declares that you should probably let her drink. Ha howdy, I'm Frank. Howdy, Frank, I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hustler. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Um, I'm the town horse selling guy. Oh, that makes sense. Gotcha. How's that working out for you? Oh, those horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming? Nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one nages. Oh. Is that why you're drinking here instead? Yeah, yep. And me being here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One. Kind of a boring one. But it's just, it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show it to you. Cool. Way to get a horse. Walk up to the boar bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the back wall reading Reward for Lost Mugs, 25 meat each. Ooh, I already have one. Bartender finally notices. Howdy, cowboy. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Frank. What brings you to this little backwater? Ask about work. Oh, the usual. I came out west to make my fortune. Not much having, uh, not having much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Boring Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of an errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend talking to the railroad people up by Dirtwater. Um, um, I'm just going to take my leave. Ask about it later. Oh, wait. What's this? It's a spittoon. People spit into it. You know, without even looking in it, it's absolutely disgusting. Uh, I'm going to take a look. Yeah, it's full of spit. Regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum, and it looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting. And the smell. Even from a distance, it smells horrible. Uh, look closer. You are now on your hands and knees, peering into the filth-encrusted spittoon. I don't, I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shining at the bottom? Let's grab it. You reach your hands towards the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air, like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like the vomit through at a mesquite barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Never surrender! Alright. You plunge your hands into the awful soup. It makes a sound like a glop. glop. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Search. <laughs> Your fingers make contact with something. You pull out your hand out you pull your hand out of the devil's terrain slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring, probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations. You got an item, nasty ring. Hooray? Yes, hooray. All right, let's see what that does. Um I don't know what I'm looking Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Give me some stat boost. And, yeah, nice. Um, let's see if he will take the mug. Found this mug. Much obliged. Goblin problem. Yeah, one of those cow pokes that came through here from Dirtwater didn't wipe his boots off. And got gulch goblin spores all over every damned where. I thought I cleaned them all up, but I must have missed out one in the basement. I can help with that. Much obliged. I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh, and you'll need this. Weak fungicide. Okay, I'll take care of it. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to do the first thing I got. 
Apparently this is set in 1890. That's cool. Oh, what's this? Um, Thud Fricker. The Fricker gains intrepid lookout. Appears to be taking a little nap. I'm just gonna ignore him. Pile of random stuff the Fricker gains stole. Finders keepers. Oh, cool. And um, one of Fricker boys is dozing in the bathtub. I can shoot him, tie him up, ask him to pass the soap. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. And I'll tie him up. Uh, approach them. Right. You cautiously approach the Fricker game. They're pretty engrossed in their poker game, so it doesn't actually require that much caution. You hide behind a barrel and eavesdrop on the conversation for a while. One of them, the one with the eye patch, is quiet, but you gather this, that his name is Snipe, and the other, and that the squirrely one is the brother Wimpy. What's your play here? I'll talk to them. Once the eye patch raised an eyebrow at you. Who are you? How'd you get past Thud and Soapy? What do you want? Um, you're under arrest. Let's see. Oh yeah? But you and one army? Actually, I'll get back to you on that. Oh. A hurt f for unseen other member of the Fricker Gang sneaks up behind you and knocks you unconscious. Ow. At least they were kind enough to drag you outside after they beat you unconscious. Yep. That's so nice of them. Let's charge back in. Approach them and talk. Yeah, I'll I'll ask about the sheriff's door first. Fight. Okay, cool. First fight. Let's see, what should I do? Um This guy looks like he has more health, so I will attack him first. Oh, Nice. Oh, I was defeated. Very easily. That's embarrassing. Let's try it again. Um, here for the sheriff's door. Let's fight. I will... Oh, I didn't notice that before. Now I'll attack. Oh, nice. Let's see, I have... How much health do I have left? Oh, that does 49 damage. Holy crap. I guess I should take care of that rifle guy first. Let's see. Again. Uh, approach them and the sheriff's door and fight. Get beefy! And... Let's aim for that guy first. That guy seems pretty inaccurate, so... This should be pretty easy now. Oh, nice! Okay, cool. I... Now I know. Let's see. There's a mug on the table. Yes, that's more meat. And a pile of Fricker's ill-gotten gains. And a sheriff's door. Just gonna carry this wrought iron door back to the town. Just on my back, apparently. In my pocket. Let's see. So we're back in town. Just gonna return some of these mugs before I bring the sheriff door. Wonder how many mugs there are. Sheriff. Okay. See, the Fricker game has to stop. Hasn't put a stop to you. Your breathing. Did you rescue my cell door? You hand the sheriff the door, and he hangs it back on the hinges. Nice work, stranger. This here prison cell just got about four times more secure. Are there any Fricker boys left for me to round up? Yeah, one or two of them that are asleep on the job. 
I'll go round him up shortly then. Looks like I owe you a big reward. Ooh, a big bag of meat. 400 meat. That's quite a bit. Let's see. Got another task for you. What you need. Well, the frickers busted the lock when they took the door. Gonna need a new lock. I'll keep an eye out. Cool. Okay, so... I don't want to get that horse yet. I wonder if there's anything left to do. Let's see. Trade. Stop right... Step right up, step right up. Braid's the name, trade's the game. You seriously doubt that his name is Braid. Yes. Howdy, Braid. <laughs> what are you trading? Well, sir, today I'm trading lock for soap and the stick for dynamite for a needle. And the cunning s skinner who brings me three rattlesnakes hides. Well, to the adventurous soul, I will trade five silver... Uh, trade a fine silver pocket watch. Oh. Okay, so I'll go for the lock. Hey, look at that. That was easy. And dynamite for the needle. Cool. Ow. Yikes. Um. Oh, some loose dirt. Um, I'll go talk to this guy. Oh, wait. Um, how's business? Oh, you know, every day I'm hustling. <laughs> to tell the truth, uh, though, it's pretty terrible. All my horses keep running away. Well, except for this completely ordinary one. That's rough. Maybe I can help. Oh, God, yes. Thank you. Please. I'd go fetch them myself, except for this injury. I'll give you 300 meat for each finding them. Each for finding them. Oops. How many are there? Three. Wow, three new places. Let me see your map. They pretty much always run to the same places. It's this mine, this boneyard, thousand snake gulch. Let's see. Um, bag of homing oats. That's that's funny. Yes, I can get more needles. Let's go for the next place. Oh, I thought it's being weird. Let's see. Let's give me a second. I should probably get this opened up on YouTube itself. Let's see. Go ahead and travel to, I guess, the mine first. Okay. Alright, got everything working, so... Definitely does not bear closer serenity. Okay. What do that means? Uh, there's some... Oh! There's some meat in this cart. Dig through it. 65. So I'm starting to wonder how much a lot is, because I just got a bit, but... I'm not sure. So, let's just get through this. I'm going to be coming for about an hour, so... Uh, after an hour, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up. Let's see.